What's going on everyone? It's Dima here. Today we're going to be going over and looking at the Lowepro Fastback BP250. Now that's a mouthful. Now as a photographer, whether you're just a hobbyist or a pro, it's almost a necessity to have a good camera backpack. Whether you're on the go, traveling, going to an event, or just hiking up the mountain and you want to snap a couple pictures. And it's a little ironic I say that because I've been rocking this $20 Amazon backpack for like the last two years. <laughs> but recently, I upgraded all my camera equipment. I got a couple more extra lenses going on. I have a bunch of stuff I'm carrying with me. And this thing just doesn't cut it anymore. And honestly, considering I'm going to be carrying around thousands of dollars worth of camera equipment, I don't know if I trust this $20 little backpack from Amazon anymore. So instead, I went on the search for the perfect casual camera backpack that can be used in a professional setting, going on photo shoots, doing video work with it, but also just casual enough where you can go on a stroll or a hike and just take a couple things with you and not be bogged down with a huge camera backpack. Which brings us to this. Once I decided to upgrade my camera backpack, I realized how many options there were online and I got overwhelmed by the choices and decisions because I was looking for something more casual and everything I found was tailored to the professional videographer that has like 50 lenses, a drone, tripods, everything with them. And I just wanted something a little bit more casual. So we found this thing here. I've been using this thing for around three months now. Me and my girlfriend recently went to Colorado. So I took it with me. It went through the mountains, through the hiking trails and took a little beating. So definitely got some good usability out of it. So I figured it's time for a review. Now first, let's talk about the price. I personally found this one on sale for $100, so if you see it online for $150 or even more sometimes, definitely wait, it goes on sale pretty frequently. I got mine at BH Photo, but I've seen Amazon have it, Adorama have it, a lot of different websites will carry it on there. But definitely don't get ripped off and spend that extra money on it because it goes on sale pretty frequently. Now $100 is definitely a lot more expensive than that $20 Amazon backpack, but all the extra features and the materials and quality definitely make up for the price. It has a two compartment structure. It has this lower section here for your camera equipment, lenses, cameras. It has two compartments up top. The first one is a pretty big section here. You can fit a lot of stuff in it. It covers literally half the backpack. And then there's a second little smaller compartment here at the front for like SD cards, cloths, whatever you want to put in there, batteries. And it also has a laptop compartment at the back here as well. Now it's advertised for like a 13 inch laptop or something, but I have a 14 inch MacBook Pro and even that MacBook Pro in a soft shell case can still fit in here pretty comfortably. Now at the bottom of the backpack, you do have a couple extra clips on here just to keep your stuff secure. So it doesn't accidentally unzip or you forgot to zip it yourself. Everything's not just gonna suddenly fall out. On the right side here, you do have a quick access door for your camera. And on the left side, you have an expandable pocket for water bottles, tripods, anything you want to put in there. And if you want to put the tripods in there, you have the little extra clip here to keep it secure. Now at the back, there's a couple things I want to mention. My personal favorite is this little strap here. It goes in your carry-on luggage handle. You just slide it right on top and you can wheel it around, take the ease off your shoulders, you know. Now secondly, we do have a couple extra clips here. This first one goes right around the chest area, as well as a second clip at the waist adds a little bit more stability. So if you're running around, you're hiking, your backpack's not gonna fly around you. That is huge. And I don't know why more backpacks don't have these types of clips, let alone this strap here. Now the back does have some pretty heavy padding on here. So you're not gonna hurt your back wearing it. However, because of the padding, it gets so hot during the summer, your back will be sweating a little bit if you wear this for too long. So that's a little bit of a negative there, but I don't really know how you can even solve this type of issue. I'm sure other backpacks will have a similar thing unless you have built-in fans here or like an ice pack to keep you cool. Now lastly, let's talk about the straps. The straps are padded pretty heavily, especially on the inside part right here. It has a little extra padding that curls around. So when you're wearing it, it's not gonna be eating into your neck. Super good touch there. But the material, I don't really know what it's made out of, but it definitely looks sturdy. After me abusing it for a couple months now, I don't see any rips, tears, discoloration, staining, nothing. I will say this is advertised as a black and gray, but this top part, really looks like it's a green to me, which if I'm being nitpicky, does kind of annoy me a little bit. I was kind of hoping for more of a gray finish, but green isn't too bad. But now let's look at the inside and see how it holds everything together. 
So first, let's undo these clips. And like I said before, there's a side compartment here for the camera. It is empty right now because I'm using my camera to film the video. So imagine that there's a camera in here. <laughs> but if we open it up, we see the pocket goes all the way around. This is where my camera would go. And I do have a secondary lens right here at the bottom. Now this is a 15 to 35, so it's a pretty long lens. You could easily fit a 70 to 200 here with the camera attached to it or into a side compartment here. I added these little pads here for some extra support, but these inserts are very nice quality. It has a nice soft texture on the outside, so it's not gonna scratch up your lenses or anything they have stored in here. And they're surprisingly durable and stiff. Normally when you find these kind of backpacks with uh, cheap ones on Amazon, they'll have the same types of inserts, but they're literally like foam and just bent uncontrollably and offer zero support. So very impressed with the quality of the inserts on here. And I even have some room just for a couple little extra compartments. Now there is a lip right here. So your lens isn't gonna roll out if you accidentally tilt your backpack up. And these are all modular, so you can take these apart, reposition them how you want. I personally like the design of putting my extra lens here and having my camera sit on top. So in case it like hits or vibrates, so it's not going to damage the lens and the camera attachment section on there. I don't know if that's a thing or not, but hey, you know what, better safe than sorry. So super nice compartment, opens up nice and wide. You do have a hook right here and this yellow tab that you can attach it to. Let's see if I can get it on the first try. There we go. So it keeps it from opening up. So if you close this halfway, this up top, lock in your clips. So it's pretty secure here. You have access to your camera on the side and you're not gonna be worried about your pocket opening up and everything falling out. I will say that one thing has been happening to me enough where it is a little bit of an annoyance is when I try to close the zipper sometimes, there's a little bit of fabric sticking out right on the edges that get caught in the zipper. And it really kind of ticks me off sometimes, but minor little gripe. And now let's go over the top compartments. There is this one pocket at the top. It's a little bit smaller than the main one, but you can fit a couple things in here. I got my filters, my chargers. Like I said, it's not too big, but enough to hold a couple more flat type of objects. And it does make it pop out a little bit at the back, which Love it or hate it, it's very convenient. Now let's put all of this stuff right back in there. And next we have the main large compartment. As you can see, it goes pretty deep and it can hold a lot of things in there. I have my little mini tripod on there, different attachments, there's a rain cover that it comes with, and it can still hold even more. It has a little pocket here at the top for some extra storage. And I don't know if you can see it from over there. Same thing, a little extra storage, but now it has a zipper on it. So let's put all of that stuff back in there. And now let's see what it looks like when you're wearing it. Easy enough to put on. I do have my straps a little bit tighter because I like when my backpack sits higher, it takes a little bit of the pressure off from the back. But this is what it looks like from the front, from the side, and from the back. So like I mentioned before, there's a clip right here for your chest, and it has another one at the bottom for your waist. And again, this is what it looks like all strapped up from the side, from the back, and then you can like move around, you know, and it's gonna stay all in place overall I'm definitely impressed with the backpack I was skeptical to see how good a hundred dollar backpack would be but I'm so surprised with this thing obviously it's not for everyone I wanted a compartment that could hold my main camera and lens and you can easily fit an extra lens in here like a 70 to 200 and even in this top compartment here it doesn't have any dividers or sections like at the bottom but you can fit a lot of stuff in here, whether you wanna fit your drones or extra lenses in there. You can even get one of those modular little boxes that you can put inside the top compartment and convert it into a full-size camera bag. And this is definitely geared a little bit more towards the casual photographer. If you're going on hikes or walking around, you're not gonna to have to set your camera down, unzip it, figure out all your camera equipment, zip it back up, put the backpack back on. You can just carry it unzip the small little compartment on the side and you'll be good to go. There's enough room at the top here to fit all your extra accessories. You can even fit a jacket or coat in there. A lot of versatility comes in this small little package on here. So this is perfect for you if you just want all around carry. You have a backpack compartment, you have a camera compartment, and you even have that laptop compartment at the top here. I can fit all of that stuff in here. Granted, it does get really heavy if I do, so I don't like carrying it around for long, but it can do the job if you need it. However, if you're like a full-blown professional, you have like three or four different lenses with you, two camera bodies, microphones, flashes, batteries, a lot of equipment, then obviously this will not be for you. But if you just want all around daily carry, highly recommend this thing. 
But that's it for my review. What do you guys think? What kind of camera backpack do you use? Do you even use a camera backpack? Or is this something you see yourself getting? Let me know in the comments below. But that's it for me. If you like this video and you wanna see more like it, like, comment, and subscribe, let me know, and I'll see you in the next one.